tell you the truth, Austin, I mean, I haven't felt so confident about a project in quite a long time. Well, that's good to hear, Saul. No, really, really, I'm absolutely convinced we can get this thing off the ground. I mean, you know, we need to make a sale to TV, and, uh, you know, that requires attaching a major star, um, someone bankable. But uh, I really think we can do it, I really do. Well, don't you think we need a first draft before we approach a star? No, I don't, I don't, no, not necessary. I mean, maybe a brief synopsis, but I'll tell you what, don't touch that typewriter until at least we get some seed money. That's fine with me. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just the story. It's just Shit. Story. Uh, I'm sorry about this, Austin. Really, I'm so, really sorry. Uh, that's, that's, that's I thought right. it was already past six already. You said to have it back by six. It's all right. We, we were just finishing up. Uh, <clears throat> this is my uh, brother, Lee. It's, it's nice to meet you. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to meet you, sir. Saul Kimmer. Mr. Kipper. Kimmer. Uh, Lee's been living out on the desert, uh, and he just... Uh... Oh, that's terrific. Uh, Palm Springs? Yeah, 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 around that area, around near Bob Hope Drive there. Ah, I just love it out there. I mean, the air is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, sure is. Healthy. Sure, sure. And the golf? Uh, you guys play golf? I mean, the golf is the best out there. I play a lot of golf. Is that right? Yeah. In fact, I was looking for someone to play some golf with. I've been looking for a partner. Well, I... Yeah. Lee's just down here for a visit while, while our mother's in Alaska. Oh, your mother's in Alaska. Yeah, she, uh, she went up there on a little vacation. This is her place. I see. What's your uh, handicap, Mr. Kimmer? Well, you know me, I'm just, I'm just a Sunday duffer. Yeah. Well, that is good to hear because I haven't swung a club in months. No, really. Well, maybe we could together sometime and have a little game. Austin, do you play? Uh, no, uh, I, I don't. Well, I, I've watched it on TV. <laughs> How about tomorrow morning? Well, uh, we can put in 18 holes right before breakfast. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, got, I got appointments, I got meetings. No, 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 I mean real early. Crack of dawn. Well, the dew's still thick on the fairway. You make it sound inviting. Sound... Austin could be our caddy. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an idea. I don't know the first thing about golf. Ah, it's nothing you couldn't pick up in 15 minutes. Isn't that right, Saul? Sure, it doesn't take long. I mean, you know, it takes you years till you can really carve out that true form. But... <laughs> I'll give you a, a rundown on the basic uh, club faces, the irons, the woods. Show you a few pointers on the basic swing. <laughs> Might even let you hit the ball a couple times. <laughs> what do you think, Saul? I think it sounds great. I, mean, I haven't had any exercise in weeks. Why not? Well, that's the spirit. Then we'll have a shot of orange juice afterwards. O orange juice? Yeah! Vitamin C! Yeah, nothing like a shot of orange juice after a game of golf. Hot shower, snapping towels at each other's privates. Real sense of fraternity, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you make it sound very inviting, I must say. It really does sound great. Then it's a date. Well, I'll call the country club and I'll see if I can arrange something. Great! God, I really am sorry for busting in on your all's meeting, that's for sure. Now we're almost done. Don't you worry about it. I mean, I can wait in the other room if you no, want. No, no, really. Really, it's okay. Just got Austin's uh, color TV back from the shop. Uh, you can watch a little amateur boxing now. Okay. You don't fool around on television, do you, Saul? Uh, I used to. I used to. I produced some TV specials, some, some network stuff. But now it's just features. Oh, that's where the big money is, right? That's right. I'll give you a call tomorrow, Saul. Uh, we can have lunch or something. Sounds good. That's great. Right after the golf. What? You, you can have lunch right after the golf. Oh, uh, that's right. Sure. Austin tells me you're interested in stories. Uh, yeah, we develop projects which have some type of commercial potential. Oh, what kind of stuff you go in for? The normal stuff. Uh, good love interest. Lots of action. Westerns? Sometimes. I'll give you a ring, Saul. I got a Western that'll knock your lights out. Oh, really? Yeah. Contemporary Western. True story. I mean, I'm not a writer like my brother here. I'm not a man of the pen. None of us are. <laughs> I can tell you a story right off the tongue. I, I just can't put it down on paper. But that don't make no difference, does it? Uh, I suppose not. I mean, plenty of guys have stories, right? I mean, true life stories? Uh, must have been lo lots of movies made from real life. I suppose so. I mean, I haven't seen a good western since Lonely of the Brave. You remember that movie? Uh, no, I, I don't. Kirk Douglas. Hell of a movie! You remember that one, Austin? Yes. I mean, the man dies for the love of a horse. Is that so? Yeah. Yeah. End of the movie. Rain's coming down. Horse is screaming. There's a shot. Bam! Then nothing but the sound of rain. And Kirk Douglas is 
riding away in the ambulance. Riding away from the scene of the accident. And here's that last shot. And he knows. He knows that his horse has died. He knows. And you see his eyes. And his eyes die right inside his face. And he closes his eyes. And he knows. And you know. You know that he's died too. You know that Kirk Douglas has died from the death of his horse. Well, um, it sounds like a great movie. I'm sorry I missed it. Yeah, you shouldn't have missed that one. Well, maybe I can check it out sometime. Maybe arrange a screening. But uh, look, Austin, freeway calls. I'm, uh, I'm going to hit rush hour. Yeah, it's good seeing you. It's good seeing you. Yeah. So, right. so you think there's a chance for a real Western these days? A real life Western? Um, sure, I, I don't see why not. I have an idea. Why don't you tell the story to Austin and have him write up a little outline? Yeah? So you take a look at it then? Sure, I mean, I'll take a look at it. I mean, we're always looking for new material. So, so you really, really read through it, huh? I read through it. I mean, it's just, it's just one man's opinion. That's all I need. That's uh, all I want is an opinion. I just think it's got plenty of possibilities. Uh, sure. Look, uh, guys, I gotta run. It's nice meeting you. Uh, I'll call you tomorrow about the golf. Yeah, right. You got Austin's number, right? Yeah. Great. So long, Saul. Give me the keys.